Hi everybody, today is the last video on our makeup advent calendar in collaboration with Pretty as a Peacock, Andrea and Lisa from Banning, Panning and Beyond. I hope you enjoyed this journey that we've had opening um, these gifts that our families have given us from our own collection um, and have enjoyed seeing us put a full face together. So today is our last day as this is day 21 and my son threw me for a loop. So let me show you the unboxings. Good morning, everybody. So today is day 15. I'm on my last bag. This is the bag that my son made. Let's reach in and get something. Okay. So my son gave me a brush. Should I reach in? I don't know. But anyway, I'll use it. Hey, this is an AOA Studio Brush E129. It is dirty, <laughs> so I need to clean it. But I'll use it for some shadow today. And uh, should I use this only? Yeah, let's do that. This will be my only shadow brush, but I still have the ability to use my fingers. All right, have a great day, bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is day 16, and let's see what my son gave me. Oh, so he gave me a ColourPop liner. Um, the shade is off because it's just quite old, but it is this bright Kelly Green liner. Let's see what I do with this one. <laughs> see you later. Good morning. Here we go. Day 17 of the advent calendar. I got my hair cut. There we go. Um, and I just finished listening to a book, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. You should listen to it. Okay, here we go. I feel a palette. <laughs> so Midnight Masquerade by Disney and um, ColourPop. This is one of my favorite palettes. I think all of these shades are in the right place, but I know what I'm going to do already. I know that these are in the right place. So Meriwether is my absolute favorite navy blue ever. Um, it actually remains navy, so I love it. Um, Frog and Wife is very similar to actually the shade I was wearing yesterday from... Um, the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. And then Madam Mama Odie is this shade that the minute you put it, I'll show you, I'll show you what it does. So here's the navy, it's so perfect. And the navy stays navy. But when you put Mama LaRue, Mama Odie, who's Mama LaRue? Oh, the book I was reading. Mama Odie on it, you see? The color shift is so cool. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna use this. I'm excited. Today I'm gonna do a look with this as well, but let's see how I put it all together at the end of the week. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Hi, everyone. Today is day 18 and I need to open my next package. Are you starting to see the boxes encroaching upon me? It's getting stressful in here. All right, so here's what I picked, the Essence Pure Nude. Let me move this. Pure Nude Highlight. Um, this is in the Be My Highlight. It's a very subtle highlight, which is very pretty on the skin. So today I'm just staying home. We have a snow day. If you didn't know, I'm filming these one day ahead. So if you're a person who lives around me and you know the weather, then you know. Anyway, so... Let me put this just on. I just have some powder foundation on. I did my eyebrows. I put a little bit of bronzer on before I filmed. So this is just a pretty everyday highlight. It does not emphasize any texture, which I really like. It is super inexpensive. Oh, I have some lip gloss on. Still using my Laneige every day. Um, anyway, so it's a pretty one. I hope you can see it. And yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Thanks. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are on day 19. I am so sleepy today. I could fall right back to sleep. But let's see what I got. <laughs> I think my kids like me in red lipstick. So this is the Neutrogena Mo Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade 160 Classic Red. Here's what it looks like. Red lipstick always peps me up, so that may be a good way to wake up this morning. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. We are on day, I don't know, we're on day 20. 
Oh my goodness. Five days till Christmas. Holy crap. Anyway, let's see what my son got. Hmm, another ColourPop mascara. So this is the blue one. The shade is Blue You Mine. <laughs> and wow. I don't think I remember it being that bright. All right. We're going to use it. See you later. Hi, everyone. We are on day 21, the last item in the advent calendar. But I have to tell you, there feels like more than one item in here. So I don't know what my son did. By the way, does anyone else's kids lose their damn mind as they get closer to Christmas? I think mine have become rabbit animals. Let's see what I got. Yeah, there's definitely, there's a lot. Okay, let's just see. I have four things. Okay, maybe the first day wasn't supposed to be a brush. I think I got like some brushes for extra credit or something. Okay, this is a Smashbox brush. I've had this for like 13 years. Okay, so maybe these, I, I have another blue mascara. Maybe he's giving me options because wasn't blue mascara yesterday. I have a bright yellow tart. So this is L'Oreal Luminous in blue. This is a yellow liner from Tarte. All right, so we have yellow and green. That's fun, totally works with the season. And then this is awesome. This is an Instain blush by The Balm. I've had this for a very long time too. It could actually come out of its packaging, but these last forever. So it's a very pretty blush that's very pigmented, but such a pretty color. So I don't know how many items that is. If I don't count the brushes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have eight items, whatever. I'll use them all in the look. So there you go. That was the end of opening up my gifts. Soon it will be Christmas and hopefully there'll be some more gifts. Let's see. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's apply that all to my face. See you in a minute. All right, so now that you've seen that my son left me with like nine items, um, <laughs> we're gonna put them all on my face. Again, don't mind all of this mess. I'm moving in between one week and two weeks, I am not sure, and it's it's a it's a mess in the house, but let's let's go. All right, so let me start with the In Stain Blush from The Balm. It's in the color Toile, and um, very bright shade and lasts a very long time, so Definitely one we got a pat on. Woo. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think this was one of the ones that I unboxed. I can't remember because there were just so many. I always do my eyes last, which is why I started with this. All right, so that was easy. Um, and then the Pure Nude Highlight from Essence in the Be My Highlight. This one's great. I don't have colorful highlights, so it was never going to be. This was an easy, an easy one. That wasn't gonna be hard. And then before I put the rest, I'm just going to put on a setting spray. I'm trying this Charlotte Tilbury one. Let's see. I don't like the smell. But the spray was great. I have two eyeliners, a yellow and a green. Um, both very bright. Not going to work with my shirt at all. I have a bright red lipstick. I have two blue mascaras. I guess I'll use one for the top and one for the bottom. And then I have the ColourPop Midnight, uh, Midnight Masquerade palette. So in my, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I did, used all these products. And in that, I stuck with these, these three. So I'm going to play on the other side of the palette, specifically because I want to show off the eyeliners. I've been really into graphic liner. I don't know how to do it. We might try it together. That's fun. So I'm gonna go in just first with um, a transition shade. So I believe this palette is in the right order. Let me use this one. It's I think called Pip, but just like a pretty basic transition. I think I'm gonna go very boring on the eye so I can show off this liner. So now I'm gonna go into Quasimodo, this deep brown, warm brown, deep warm brown. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used this a little dark. So I'm just placing the shadow with this Morphe M507. I just like the shape that I'm, I can achieve with this and then I'll blend it out. I'm 
just going to go back to that original brush and just blend that out. Gotta pat out that concealer. This is the Cosmetics Concealer, which I really like. I don't like setting this one though, so I just gotta pat it, pat it out when it gets into my lines. If you forget to do it, you look insane. Okay. This lipstick isn't gonna work at all. All right, how do I do a graphic liner? Do I go here and then go up? Wish me luck, friends. I, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that's green. Should I do green on top and yellow at the bottom? I don't know if I should try it. This is gonna look totally nuts. <laughs> okay. It's just makeup, friends. It's just makeup. So I'm just running this in, in my crease in case you ever want to recreate this insane look. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the shadow. I think I'm gonna put the yellow at the bottom, but anyway, I'm gonna do spinning wheel on the crease, on the lid. I don't know if that was a good idea, but we're just gonna keep going. I think graphic liner, you're not supposed to have any other makeup on. Should I blend it? Okay, blending didn't do anything. So now, <laughs> inner rim, like, should I trace the line? Let's inner rim it. This is from Tarte. It's in the shade yellow, because they, they worked hard on naming this thing. Guys, there is no way this is gonna look good together. We can keep going and try to take a pretty picture. All right, <laughs> before I put on my bright red lipstick, let's put on some blue mascara. So this is the Luminous, nope, the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in the shade Cobalt Blue. Can you tell it's blue? Coat number two. This mascara is not so great, but whatever. I take that back. This mascara would be really good for the lower lash line. I mean, it's it's blue. It's showing up. Okay, so here's that liner. I mean, mascara. And now let's put some of the blue at the bottom. All right. So not like not the worst thing. I'm just wondering if I should put some blue on the outer corner. Let's put on the lipstick and see what we need to do. This is the Neutrogena lipstick. Did I give you the shade last time? It's in 160, classic red. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. What do I do about this? I, we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave it. This is just supposed to be fun. It was fun. It was, it was something. I'm going to darken that green line. Wow. A second coat really does wonders here. Looks fun against the blue. All right. Let me put a little bit of yellow here. All right, I'm gonna stop. This looks totally crazy, but it's okay because it's makeup and it washes off. Now, what do I love? I think I like all these things independently. I love this lip. I could make it deeper, but it's just very comfortable to wear. I love the blush. I love the highlight, which I think you can see pretty well. Um, I take back about the mascara. Two coat made my lashes look pretty long and they're, they're blue. The lower is good, but I need to return it. I, I mean, I need to throw it away just because it's old. Um, the green eyeliner definitely is green. It still works, even though it's starting to get dried out. 
again something else that I probably need to toss and the yellow is fun although I will tell you I don't love yellow on me I think it just looks it's just not the most flattering shade on me and I do absolutely love this palette so anyway this isn't very much a Christmas look for I probably should have agreed all over the eye. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching us. I hope you checked out both Lisa and Andrea's video. I had so much fun collaborating with them. They're both so wonderful and they have great content. Um, and I wish you Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Hanukkah, which passed. Um, do I say Merry Kwanzaa? No, I say Happy Kwanzaa, I think. But if you're celebrating Kwanzaa, hope it's been wonderful and a Happy New Year to all of you. Um, in the next couple days, I'll be wrapping up the rest of my year and then starting 2020 in a new house with a new challenge. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful end of the year. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you soon. Bye.